Hi. Welcome to the lecture on, uh, start of the lecture on chapter two, uh, antennas and accessories. Uh, chapter one, we covered a lot of different things about uh, just some generic uh, radio wave properties, uh, reflection, scattering, what a radio wave does. Now we're going to start looking at some of the materials that allow us to uh, send and receive those radio waves. And basically those are antennas. So uh, we're going to look to uh, look at antennas, how they're defined. Um, in the book, you're going to be, it's a relatively short chapter on pages 36 to 43. Uh, we'll get into antenna charts and how to uh, choose antennas uh, probably next week. Uh, so I just thought I'd to, to a high level, what are antennas, how they're defined, and go from there. Now, see if I can get this to change pages. So what we're going to talk about is just some basic differences. Um, now, in this case, we're going to look at just some basic um, differences amongst the different antenna types. Now, granted, I think a lot of that's going to be next week, but we, this we're going to talk about antenna theory and stuff. Now, remember, under, to understand radio waves, radio waves, um, oops. I don't want that there. Oh well. Radio waves both radiate and receive electromagnetic waves. Uh, they radiate waves uh, as the electromagnetic uh, signal escapes from the antenna, and we received it energy that is captured by it. Um, so as a as energy is put down, sent down a wire. Uh, it radiates two different things. It does electron, electric magnetic waves. And once it get, once the radio waves get to a certain point, it will start radiating off of that wire. Um, so we radiate elements that, uh, of that electromagnetic energy into the air. Uh, but antennas are also receiving elements. So they receive electronic magnetic energy from the environment. Uh, and of course, based on the different frequencies and antenna patterns and things that we're going to engineer, antennas are engineered um, to use specific frequency ranges. Um, so if you're in a 2.4 gigahertz range, uh, it'll be a different in, you know, design uh, inside the antenna as a 5 gigahertz. And the antennas are engineered, and some antennas are engineered to work at either frequency, but uh, they do not work optimally when you when you start making them, you know, to be a kind of a general antenna. They don't work as well as ones that are specifically engineered for a specific task. Uh, so it's it's something to keep in mind when you're picking and choosing antennas. Um, that that engineering behind it uh, determines a radiation pattern. And when I say a radiation pattern is when, when you have an antenna and it's radiating energy based on its design and what in its purpose, uh, the radio waves that come off of those designed wires off that design antenna cover only a specific geographic area. Uh, there is antennas that cover 360 degrees they're kind of they're called omnidirectionals kind of, they kind of go in uh, basically when it says omnidirectional it means what all directions so 360 degrees um, actually when you look at the 3d picture of one of those it actually kind of looks like a donut uh, as far as that but that shape is what you need to make sure that the receive antenna is understands that so when you're trying to design something or somebody says, gee, I don't understand what happened. Why don't I have coverage where I expected it to be? It just could be that the antenna choice that was made is not radiating energy in the area you want it to. So as a uh, wireless engineer or somebody that's going to maintain wireless systems, you need to understand is, okay, what antenna is put on there? What is its general shape so that I can see, have we instituted or 
engineered uh, holes in, in this network. So you just need to make sure that when you're looking at an access point or even what kind of antennas used in your uh, mobile device uh, that it's engineered to handle that information. Now, there's two things. That, there's active and passive gain. Now, passive gain says, hey, I don't put any other devices in the path of the from the access point and the antenna to amplify the signal. That's passive. Now, active actually says, hey, I'm going to put an amplifier in the middle. So maybe I'm I'm trying to cover a place that's you unique special and I put an amplifier in the past between the access point and the antenna and I amplify that signal so everything that comes that's coming out of the access point gets amplified sent to the antenna and everything that's received gets amplified and sent back to the access point but in both these cases if I do not use an amplifier it's passive if I do use an amplifier it's active Now here's a couple of different uh, types of antennas. Um, one you're seeing, one called a patch antenna, and we'll get into different choices and stuff, but basically it's one that you would kind of place on a wall and radiate in one direction. And as you can tell by this radiation pattern, it doesn't radiate any energy behind it or very little energy behind it. So if I wanted to lay this on a wall to make sure that I wasn't propagating energy into the neighboring business, I may want to choose a patch antenna so I'm radiating into a specific area and not being used uh, by my neighbors. Uh, an omnidirectional, like I said, it's a 365 degrees. Uh, if you look at the 3D vision, it'll look like a donut hole. And then some internal access AP try to you know, cover what they'll call a sectorized antenna, where they've built it so that I'm radiating the most energy I can into specific areas. Uh, if you're ever driving down the highway and you see a wireless tower, most of those you'll look and, and there'll be antennas on three different sides of the antenna uh, on the tower. What they're trying to do is radiate as much energy in a particular area because they know that I can get more energy radiating farther with a, a designed antenna versus using an omni antenna. They could have put an omni antenna up there and radiated, radiated around, but it would not cover as far or as get into buildings or your car as well as if I had an, a sectorized uh, antenna or one that's engineered specifically for specific directions. Uh, so some of your internal AP antennas kind of give you the best of both of these worlds is I've chosen an antenna design or antenna inside that points in three different directions, but it realize, you just gotta really see this little gap here. Somebody's office that's sitting right there is not covered. Whereas if that same office was here, it would be covered, but maybe not as strong as it would be if it was sitting up here. So it's understanding the shape of your antenna, the pattern of your antenna, and we'll get in more of that uh, in the next week, so that you're picking the best antenna for this purpose. Because you got to realize, remember we talked about what radio waves do. They hit devices Engineering is reflected, refracted, absorbed, scattered. So when you're thinking about placing an access point, you're also looking at the environment and say, what happens to this design? What happens to, if I put the access point here, what happens? Does it give me good signal or bad signal? Oh, somebody put a filing cabinet. So what happens? I got metal. So in ca some cases, metal is going to absorb it. Some cases, it's going to reduce the signal. I've got thin walls. So I'll get more energy through a thin wall than I will a thick wall. 
if this thick wall or thin wall was uh, at a hospital and it was next to the x-ray machines guess what you would probably see no energy going in that so understanding the environmental impact of radiation patterns um, is, is something you need to worry about uh, we're gonna get into a, doing an assignment later on doing a site survey where you're gonna use uh, several different tools I'll give you uh, or one on your phone whatever the case may be to help you understand what you know, how the impact of the environment has on the system uh, that you have so I hopefully this gives you a rough idea about antennas I've posted other videos and information on antenna design and things and we'll get into those but I just wanted to uh, give you a high level introduction into antennas and if you have any questions let me know have a nice day bye bye